Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we will discuss about the second concept of unit three, that is, n step transition. In this video, we will discuss about the third concept of unit three, that is, Markov chain. In Markov chain, we have to know about first about the Markov process, which is different. Here, the Markov process or stochastic process two are same only. First of all, know the stochastic process definition. It is a collection of random variables that indexed by some mathematical set. That is, x of t n equals to n equals to one, two, three, and so on. After that, about the Markov process. The Markov process definition is: is a process is to be stochastic if it changes changes from time to time. Is called Markov process. The ne next important definition is higher order or Markov chain or first or first or second order Markov process. These three are same. Same. We, we can call this higher order or Markov chain or first or second order Markov process. The definition of the definition of Markov chain is it is a it is cla classified by their order if the probability of occurrence of an event. In each state depends on immediate processing state is first order Markov process. Here, higher order is called as Markov chain. The important formula in the important formula in Markov chain is Q n equals to Q not P n. In the here in the problems multiple, we can find out the given problem is in Markov chain or not by as indicating here. Multiple states and periods are given, and we found out here initial probability that is Q not, and to solve a problem, if there is in some cases in the question not given Q not, we take the initial probability Q Q not as equally likely. That is, if the states are given three, we take Q not value as one by three, one by three, one by three. If states are given two, we take the initial probability Q not as one by two, one by two. Let us consider an example problem. Here, TPM of Markov chain with three states one, two, three as given below above here like this, and the initial probability is 0.7, 0.2, 0.1. We are asking to find P of x2 equals to one, and second one is P of x3 equals to three comma x2 equals to three comma x1 equals to three comma x0 equals to two. We write the above TPM here like this in answer. Like given that TPM equals to given transition probability matrix as like as and given Q not value 0.7, 0.2, 0.1. We are asking to find P of x2 equals to 1. Here we are considering n equals to here x2 equals to means n equals to two value. Substituting in the formula Q n equals to Q not P n Q t equals to Q not P square. We have to find the value of Q2. That is. Q not value has given here 0.7, 0.2, 0.1 into p square value. We didn't know the p square value. Here given the p value. P square means p into p. Uh, taking p one p value as matrix A and second p of value matrix B. Calculating it into the cash flow as matrix A into matrix B, we get the answer for p square. That is like th like this. After this, solving Q2 equals to Q0 into P square, we get the Q2 as in 1 into 3 matrix. That is 0.385, 0.336, 0.279. We are asking the question is P of x2 equals to 1. That means Q2 of 1, like this. Q2 of 1. That is in Q2, what is the first ele first element value? 0.385. Therefore, Q2 of 1 equals to 0.835. The second question is finding p of x3 equals to 3, x2 equals to 3, x1 equals to 3, x0 equals to 2. We, in this in this in this type of uh, problem, we have to take first the q0 value. Q0 value of here initial is x0, which given the state uh, period uh, state is 2. So q0 of 2 equals to here the difference what 0 to 1 is 1. We taking p and it is going from 2 to 3 that's why taking p 2 3 into here 1 to x1 state to x1 period to x2 period what is the difference 1 taking p and it going from 3 third state to 
third state that is 3 3 into here x2 prior to x3 prior difference is 1 and taking as p and going from 3 to 3 that's why p into 3 to 3 here q2 q naught of 2 is what value here q q naught of 2 is 0 0.336 sorry sorry here what given q naught of 2 here the value of q naught in 2 is what here q naught of 2 is 0 0.2 writing here 0 0.2 and p23 what is the p matrix here p matrix is p e, this one and it asking in 2 3 means 2 2 3 what value we have 0 0.2 writing here 0 0.2 and p33 p32 3 what is value 0 0.3 writing 0 0.3 and same p33 is 0 0.3 if we calculating in the cash of 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 we get the answer 3.6 into 10 power of minus 3 that is 0 0.036 let's consider another problem Sometimes in in one problem only the question examiner set the paper as giving all types in one question only. It is like that example only. This let us go for a this problem. We are given that considered by sharing with three stations that is A and B. Three stations state, stations are A comma B comma C and all bikes return to same stations at the end of day. Each day all distribution of bikes at each station changes as bikes get returned to different stations. Okay. Here one bike from A. A returns to 30% to A only and 50% to B and remaining at C. Similarly from B 25 to A. From B 65 to B and 10% to C. From C 10% to A, 80% to C, 10% to B. We are asking to find the transition probability matrix and the probability transition probability matrix after two days. That means we are asking p square, asking p square probability. And second to find suppose we start observing this 30% at A, 45% to B, 25% at C. And last problem find uh, asking that determine distribution at the end of next day after two days. That is you have to find here q2 value and here asking p of x2 equals to a and p of x3 equals to a comma x2 equals to b comma x not equals to c let us do the problem here given that we have to make the tpm as my own giving by using this data let us take probability p equals to columns a b c because giving three bikes ABC and here column also taking bikes ABC here asking that a return from a bike from a bike return to return 30 percent to a only that is a to a is 0 0.3 and 50 percent to B that means a to B 0 0.5 and 10 percent and remaining to C here we know that sum of each row is equals to 1 here given a sum 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 plus c equals to 1 the remaining one how to calculate 0 0.8 plus c equals to 1 c equals to 1 minus 0 0.8 and the remaining is 0 0.2 so here we write the 0 0.2 value in a to c and given that similarly from b 25 percent to a from b to a is 25 that is 0 0.25 and 65 to b b to b is 0 0.65 and 10 to C that is 0 0.1 and from C 10 to A that is C to A is 0 0.1 and 80 percent to C means C to C is 0 0.8 not C to B is 80 here given C to C is 80 that is 0 0.8 and 10 percent to B means 3 to B is 0 0.1 yes we we get the transition probability matrix and that he asked to he asked to determine the probability after two days this means here we get the probability transition probability p value he asking after two days that, that means p square value p square value we know that p into p we, we have the value of p by taking one p matrix one p as matrix a and one b as matrix b 
calculating cash or matrix A into matrix B we get the value of P square that is like this matrix P square matrix next one here asking that suppose we start observing this 30% at A 45% to B 25% to C he is uh, here the examiner have come try to confuse her that he is this is a Q naught value he directly didn't give the Q naught value in question he try to ask us to find the Q naught value that is as Q naught equals to 0 0.3 that means 30% at A, 45% at B, 25% at C which means Q0 equals to ABC 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0 0.25 after that he asking us determine distribution at end of next day after 2, date, two days it means you are giving 2 days means we have to find out the Q2 value we know that Q2 means Q2 means Qn equals Q2 means you know the formula q n equals to q naught p power n here n equals to 2 value that means q2 equals to q naught p square ok we have to find out the value of like this n equals to 2 we get the q2 equals to q naught p square we know the value of q naught and we know the value of p square by taking q naught as matrix a and P square at matrix B calculating in cash flow matrix A into matrix B we get the value like this Q2 ABC of 0 0.215 0 0.448 0 0.336 next he asks the question is P of X2 equals to A it means X2 means what then now only we calculate that is X2 means here N equals to 2 we get the Q2 value we are going to find Q2 of A here Q2 of A is what the value that is 0 0.215 and asking x3 equals to A, x2 equals to B, x0 equals to C here we from initial we take Q0 Q0 here Q0 was given state is 3 that's why Q0 of C into from x0 to x2 period what is the difference here is 2 that's why taking P square and it is going from C to B going from C to B that's why taking P square C to B into from X2 state to X, X2 period to X3 period what is the difference is 1 that's why we are taking P only and going from B to A that's why we are writing B to A here Q0 of C is what value Q0 of C value is 0 0.25 so we are substituting here 0 point Q0 of C is Q0 value of C is 0 0.25 ok and into P square value P square value here here is what to calculate C to B means C to B value that is 0 0.195 that is that is 0 0.195 and b to a value is p and p value p value is given here what to find b to a b to a is 0 0.25 by calculating 0 0.25 into 0 0.195 into 0 0.25 we get the value total value here this is the probability value of this question hope you love this video please keep supporting me and like share comment subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every update from my smart studio youtube channel thank you so much hello guys welcome to my youtube channel hope you like the video keep supporting me by subscribing my youtube channel and like share comment and click the bell icon to be notified every update from my smart studies youtube channel